Hello everyone, I'm coming at you live having literally just finished recording the last vlog and we're jumping right on into this one. Welcome back. I'm in the exact same spot, the exact same outfit. But I did put pants on and shoes, so I'm gonna show you very quickly my outfit that I'm wearing today. I am about to head out and meet my friend Izzy for coffee and probably some food at a cafe. And then I'm gonna be right by King's Cross Station, so I really I'm gonna go and see platform nine and three quarters. Also, I'm not going to see the Harry Potter, like the Warner Brothers tour in London because I didn't want to experience that by myself. I want to experience that with other people, ideally my family. So I didn't want, I just didn't want to do that by myself. I wanted to experience that with others. So I'm holding off on that. I'm saving that for my next trip. Hopefully I will be coming back with my family because I think they'd love it here. So that's the tea on that. It's supposed to start raining. So good thing that that is indoors. And then I think I want to go, I might go to the National Gallery since that is also indoors. I'm trying to find some nice like little cozy indoor activities to do while it's raining so I don't have to be outside. But yeah, that's what's going on. So I've got my new London sweatshirt that I bought in the last vlog from Anina Bing. I have finally a different purse today. This is my coach bag, the one I usually wear on my shoulder because it has the little shoulder strap, but it has a crossbody strap also. I have the same jeans because I don't know why the f I even brought shorts and a skirt. It's cold and windy. Anyway, same jeans. These are the Abercrombie 90s Curve Love high rise straight jeans. They are old reliable. And then I just got my white New Balances. <laughs> Okay, I'm absolutely drunk, but I'm here. And I'm here with a special guest, Izzy. Hey. I was telling him about you and how we met in Paris. And I'm just so happy to be here and caught up with her. I'm also happy to be inside because it's raining sideways outside and I didn't prepare, so I'm drenched. I need to get food, coffee, and what else do I need? Uh, millionaire shortbread. Millionaire shortbread. Everyone say hi Izzy in the comments, because Izzy is the best. Stopped by the pub for my three quarters. The line was crazy, so I did not want to wait in line to take a photo. I took the tube back and I'm about to go to the National Gallery. Hope you can hear me, it's very loud and there's people yelling. I'm not sure what about. I am gonna go to the National Gallery. It's open for one more hour and I'm gonna take advantage of it because it's on my list and I'm gonna see all the portraits. Still have yet to buy an umbrella, but that's fine. Mm -hmm.
Kawasaki, the people who live around the edges were allowed in. Good morning all. It is my last full day in London. I decided that instead of feeling overwhelmed by all the things that I have on my list that I want to do that I just simply don't have time to do because it turns out it is impossible to go to like all the things to see in London. Like, there's just so much to see here so I, I've come to the conclusion that I'm accepting that and I'm just gonna have to come back. Twist my arm. I just finished getting ready. I wore my favorite sweater. I saved my favorite sweater for last. And it is Stella's first day out. If you didn't watch the last vlog, then you don't know about Stella. I'm matching her with these sunglasses that I actually got from Sunglass Hut for free, but they're Burberry, so I thought that they would go good with the London vibes. Also, shout out Sunglass Hut for hooking me up with these. Uh, couldn't be more grateful. They're so freaking cute and I'm obsessed with them and they're the perfect like neutral brown. I, I can't get over them. They're so I love them. The sun is like peeking through today. It was sunny when I woke up. Now it's supposed to be cloudy the rest of the day. F*** it. I'm still gonna wear the sunglasses. I don't care. I'm wearing them as a headband if anything today. If not now, when? I literally leave tomorrow. I have a little bit of time in the morning before I leave tomorrow so I have some activities I want to do. They're closer to here. But today is my last full day. So we're gonna try and go out with a bang and I'm gonna start with Camden Market. I cannot wait. I have been wanting to go to Camden Market for as, as long as I heard it in London Boy by Taylor Swift and it was very highly recommended to me to go. So of course I'm going to go. I, from what I understand, it is just massive and there's tons of like food and shops and vintage shops around there and like I'm, there, there's a lot to see and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna take the tube. I have to transfer. I haven't transferred on the tube yet, but I assume it's very similar to transferring on the MTA. So. <laughs> I love coming from a place that I understand the subway systems because this is just second nature at this point to me and it feels really good to just, you know, like know where I'm going. Like I walk with purpose like I live here, which is the goal. Let me show you my outfit really quick. Oh, you guys are going to be shocked that I'm wearing jeans again. This is a word to the wise, all right? <laughs> this is my first, you know, this is my rookie mistake. So if you are traveling to London at a time like this where the weather looks like it's going to be like 67 question mark and specifically in the fall time, I don't know how this is in the spring, just wear pants. Don't bring anything that's not pants. I brought shorts and a skirt. Why the hell did I do that? Today's high is 65 degrees. It's windy as hell here which I also wasn't aware of, but these are all learning experiences and I wanna pass this knowledge on to you so that you do not make the same packing mistakes as I did. I only brought one pair of long pants. I thought that would be good. Like, no, I should have brought at least two pairs of long pants, but the more you know, I'll know for next time, it's all right. Actually, these jeans kinda got a, a wash yesterday because I got stuck in a literal torrential downpour without an umbrella and my jeans were soaked. So they kinda got cleaned. So, and if I think about it, if you like squint your eyes and like tilt your head to the side, they're clean. Is that girl math? I saved my favorite sweater for last. The sweater is from Gap, my absolute sweater of the fall. I don't know, it's a very relaxed, like boxy fit. It lays really nicely. I'm obsessed with it. We got our new bag. Stella's first day out. Got my brown sunglasses and then to match the black in my sweater. I have my black Converse once again. As I've said, I didn't say that in this vlog yet, I don't think, but I only brought two pairs of shoes, one white and one black. And then these same jeans, the ones I had on yesterday, Abercrombie, 90s, Curve Love, High Rise Straight. Literally, they're universal. If you need one pair of good jeans, I'd say it's these. I'm gonna link these down below. I'm gonna try to link everything down below, but these jeans are an absolute, they've saved me on this trip. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Also today, we are meeting up with another friend. We have a special guest coming onto the channel. You'll see who it is when we meet up. I've never met this person in real life before. We're internet mutuals. She also does YouTube. So I'm really excited to meet her. I need a coffee immediately and I'm gonna hit the tube. I'm ready to go to Camden and see what's up.
feel like an absolute fraud going to places we have, but here I am. And don't worry, I'll be getting more than one coffee. As y'all saw, I watched the Notting Hill for the first time last night, and it was, I loved it so much. I was smiling, I was laughing. Okay, she got her chips. I think I'm next. Oh, I think I'm next. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. set everything up and like how a movie set Ago, but we were chatting and that's okay but we're gonna go to a pub that still has food at this hour which hopefully because a girl it, needs to eat the kitchen might close it's like probably the last 10 minutes oh i'm scared just be getting i was just about to say there's like so many other places i feel like we could pop in for food if they don't have it's very true yeah like we are in soho we can do whatever we need to we're in soho um, this is my last do. hurrah last in london i'm leaving tomorrow oh, so much 
much happened today. I don't even know where to begin. It is currently 1 a.m. Sorry this lighting is also shit. I got back probably like, I don't even know when at this point, less than an hour ago from my day. I had the best day ever. Literally the best day ever. My perfect last full day here in London. I can't believe I'm going home tomorrow. I can't believe that. I feel torn. Like I feel it's bittersweet. I am such a homebody. So of course I miss home and I'm, I get homesick really easily, but I've also really, really had a lot of fun here for the last few days. And I love London. I love it here. This place is just, ah. I need to take my makeup off as quick as actually possible because I have to wake up early tomorrow and I want to like do a couple things before I have to go to the tomb station and go to the airport. Okay, let's start from the freaking top. First thing I did today was I went to Camden Market, grabbed some coffee. It was actually delicious. I felt kind of like a fraud for going to Blake Street, but there's like, apparently that's a big thing here. I know we have it in New York too. That's why I feel like a fraud, but I got a drink I've never had before. It's probably like a new seasonal one. It's like the pumpkin something shaken cold brew. It was freaking amazing. Oh my God. It was so good. I actually got another. Hopped in there and grabbed a coffee while Sienna was making her way over to meet me at Candy Market. I have known Sienna and like known of her from the internet, from YouTube. She's a fellow YouTuber for years. So it feels like this meeting was so long in the making. She lives in London. She messaged me and we met up today. I ended up spending the entire day with her. And it was like, I actually can't even thank her enough for how much fun I had today. She obviously knows the place better than I do. So she showed me really fun places. Like she just like literally gave me basically like her whole day to hang out with me and show me the sights. And it was just, oh, it's the best day ever. It was so, I loved it. This is my thing. I do love my own company. Not to sound like a narcissist or like an asshole, but I enjoy my own company. I do love things alone and I enjoy doing things alone, but I also enjoy the other's company. Hold on. I plan on packing tonight, but I'm like, dude, it's 1 a.m. Like the fuck. I feel like not packing tonight will kind of give me a sense of urgency tomorrow when I wake up, so that might actually work to my advantage. Anywho, what was I saying? I spent the entire day with Sienna and it was just the best. Like she's genuinely one of the sweetest people. She's one of those people that I like, we have met, this is the first time I've ever met in person. But spending the day with her today, it felt, I felt like I've known her forever. I went to her apartment. I met a couple of her roommates. Like it was so nice. Just so, she was so welcoming, so kind and so genuine. And I just, that's what I mean. Like I, I do like doing things alone, but I also enjoy others company. You know, I feel like today was so special and so awesome because of her. I definitely wouldn't have had as much fun on my own. I would have had fun probably in a different way, but I, I think I had more fun because I got to spend time with her. So that just was really awesome and meant a lot to me. And we went, we were at the market. I stopped at a vintage store and we grabbed food. It freaking started torrentially downpouring again, which wasn't even forecasted. It just happened. And it was literally raining cats and dogs. Oh my God. I love taking my makeup off. It's just the greatest feeling ever. So we were in Camden. The way I hopped on over to Notting Hill because as you guys saw, and as I said, Last night I watched the movie Notting Hill for the first time. So we went, and that was on my list anyway, even before I watched the movie. I wanted to go to the Notting Hill bookstore, which I didn't even really, like, honestly, I'm so uncultured. I was not aware that it was so famous because of the movie. I thought it was just a cute bookstore. And it was, it was a cute bookstore, but having seen the movie last night, it like hit so much harder. So we did that. And then we were walking back, well, to another tube station to go to her apartment. We're on our way to this station and we pass a movie set like they're filming a movie in the in the middle of the street in the pouring rain and we're like what the fuck is going on sienna's asking around because people standing there watching them film this movie and she's like asking around like what what are they filming and turns out they were filming scenes for paddington i guess they're making a third movie I had never even heard of Paddington. And again, I am sorry if this is really uncultured of me for not knowing Paddington the bear, but 
I was educated on Paddington the Bear once we found out that this was what they were filming. Cause I was like, hold up. When you see a filming happening like behind the scenes in real life, like you're seeing something that's being filmed and it's gonna be a literal movie. I'm like, okay, well now I need to know absolutely everything about this Paddington character. I gotta watch the first two movies so that I'm prepared for the third movie because I gotta watch the whole movie just so that I can see the two second clip of like what I saw with my eyes. You know what I mean? So anyway, today I learned about Paddington the Bear, watched them film some scenes for this movie. They gave us a cute little pin. Oh, let's take a photo of it. We were talking to a guy who was like working on the set. He was very kind. Like he was telling us, we're just chatting with him for like 10, 15 minutes. And he got us these cute little pins with Paddington on them. It was like the coolest experience. I was like, what the fuck? We're walking in Notting Hill. It's fucking pouring down rain. It's literally raining cats and dogs. We're trying to get to this tube station and then we run into a fucking movie set. Oh my God, this whole day was so, so insane in the best way. We departed from the Paddington movie set, started running literally right to the tube station because it started pouring again, like even hard. It would like pour really hard and then it would stop for a little bit and we were like, oh, we're good, we're in the car. No, then we'd just do it again. So it did that. We got to the tube station. We went over to Sienna's. I saw her beautiful apartment and I met two of her roommates. They were very sweet. We sat there for, we were there for probably like maybe like an hour, just like chilling out, kind of drying off from the rain. And then we decided to go back on the tube to Soho. We wanted to go to a pub, but none of the pubs were serving food because by the time we got there, it was nearly 10 p.m. And so we went to Dishoom, which is a restaurant that I was recommended a gazillion time to go to. My friend Emma like loves the place. So we went there. It was so good. We got dinner at like 10, 11 p.m. <laughs> we got one drink each and then after that we were like, okay. Well, really, Sienna was like, well, you need to have this, the pub experience. You need to like experience a London pub for real. And I was like, okay. She's like, we need to get pints. And I'm like, okay. We went to this pub. They were literally closing, doing last calls, doing only to go cups. I don't really like beer. I like would have drank it if I had to, but I, it's not like my fave. So they had a cider on tap. We got pints of those. We had a brief, London pub experience to round out my time here. <laughs> it was actually quite a good cider, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't remember what it even was. It's actually quite good. It just tastes like apple cider. Two thumbs up for me. I departed from Siena and now we're here. What a time. What a fing time. Like today was so good. And to think this morning, I woke up with like crippling anxiety. I don't know why. That happens sometimes. It's really frustrating, but that happened. But like the day just was so good. So I'm so happy that despite my crippling anxiety, I didn't let it stop me from having a good day. And today was just, it was just the absolute best way to finish off my time in London. So now it is 10, 116. 116. No, this is like a crater of a pimple. Where the f did you come from? Rude bitch. Anyway, I ran out of space on my card again, but as I was saying, I need to wrap this shit up because I need to brush my teeth and go to bed for real. This is the weirdest part of a trip. You anticipate it and plan for it and get excited for it for so long and then it's just comes and goes like so fast. Like I feel like I blinked, had an out of body experience and I'm leaving tomorrow. But anyway, I had an amazing day today. So much joy, genuine joy. I'm so thankful for everything that happened today. Okay, my sweatshirt's all wet because I just fucking, dude, washing your face in the sink is actually not my vibe. And yes, I've been wearing this sweatshirt for four days. Okay, I only brought one and the one that I bought the other day, I wore it yesterday, it got soaked in the rain. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. I will say packing all of my or unpacking all of my things into the wardrobe was a power move. Good morning everyone. For my last morning in London. I just pretty much packed everything up. I decided that I'm gonna go first and just have my stuff here and then come back and check out because I can check out on the app for the hotel so I don't have to like do much, I don't think. I just got myself ready. I have my little kind of airport fit. I'm gonna switch my shirt because this is a long sleeve shirt. I just put it on because it's like cold outside apparently right now and I'm about to go out and walk around a little bit and do some final exploring and tourist things. I'm so sorry. It's so nice and sunny this morning though, and I think it's supposed to extend into the afternoon. So while I'm out the next like few hours, it is supposed to be nice, thank 
God. So I'm about to head out. I'm gonna go to Westminster Abbey. I have to. I want to see it really bad. I'm gonna walk over there. Depending on how much time I have. After that, I might just have to walk right over to the Buckingham Palace because I want to see the changing of the guards, which starts at 11, but everything I've read has said to get there at like 10.45. So that's just really all my plan. I think I might get- I'm gonna grab a coffee first before I do any of this. Those are the final plans. I'm just gonna take it in, take in a beautiful London morning before I have to fly back to New York at 4.30. Gotcha. Oh, my bag. It's got my tote bag today. <laughs> Here is my fit. Top is from, I believe, Banana Republic. This sweater is from Thread Up, but it's the, from Athleta. Leggings are aloe, and then these are my new balances once again. And tote is Harry Styles. I never know how to transition these parts. I'm always just like, let's go. What else am I supposed to say? left Westminster Abbey. That was so cool. I still have yet to see Big Ben. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go to see him, but I am walking now to Buckingham Palace for the changing of the guards, which happens at 11 a.m. As it stands, I should make it there at 10.47. I will say I'm hungry and I have to pee really bad. There's a prep right here. Should I go? Then I'll be like, oh, but the changing guards is like 45 minutes, so I feel like I should pee now. You know what I mean? Much to think about. You know what? Maybe I will. Do they have a bathroom? be so sad if they didn't. I'm just gonna go, screw it. Stop and pray. Probably grab a croissant or something like, oh, cost to hold the damn phone. Anyway, someone's gotta have a bathroom. What is this? 